Hey everybody, um, we talked about arithmetic sequence already, so now we're moving into our arithmetic series. And this is actually pretty cool, I like this. Um, arithmetic series really is talking about the sum. Whenever you deal with series, you're talking about adding numbers up together, kind of like a summation type thing. But um, you can kind of actually make a summation using series and you can go backwards and forwards because we already did a summation with that. So um, arithmetic sequence and series, they go hand in hand with summation. So here, when it comes to arithmetic series, it is the indicated sum of the terms of the arithmetic sequence. You're like blah, 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 blah. That's what it sounds like, blah, 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 So with it, when it comes to arithmetic series, you're really trying to find a sum. So the key word for arithmetic series when it comes to a vocabulary quiz is the word sum. Now, we know um, summation was adding up all the numbers. Arithmetic series, the keyword is sum. We're in the indicated sum of the terms. All right, so just to make sure that you can kind of tell the difference between arithmetic sequence and arithmetic series, they look different. We know arithmetic sequence looks something like this. So like negative 9, negative 3, 3, 9, 15. And there's a comma between each one of those numbers. Not bad, that's a sequence. A series just changes that just a slightly. A series just adds addition signs between them because you're adding them. The sum. So adding sum, so that means you add them up together. That's all arithmetic series is. You're just adding the numbers up that were in the sequence. A series adds, a sequence just has a list of numbers. That's it. That's all the difference is between the two. Now, with that, looking at the diff looking at that, those are different. But when it comes to finding the sequence or finding the series, um, finding the series here, we also have another formula that was given that's given to us on the final exam. And again, here we actually looked at it a few minutes ago uh, on the last um, in the sequence notes here. Let's see if I can pull it up. There we go. All right. So here, they gave you a formula also for the series. So if you look at the AN one, we know that was for our sequence. SN is for our series because it means sum. So when it comes to this this part with the secret um, arithmetic series, that's the formula we're going to use. And we call it the nth partial sum. The nth partial sum. And again, this is given to you on the final exam, on that formula sheet, so you don't have to know it, know it, know it, but it's good to have it in your head. But also, the formula is going to be given to you on the final exam, so you really don't have to do a whole lot. So here, the nth partial sum, Sn, Sn, is used to represent the sum of the first n terms of a series. So n could be like 25, or it could be 77, or it could be 1,000. Adding the first, uh, adding up all 1,000 numbers, and this formula gets you that answer without having to go and add all those numbers up. So hopefully you can use this formula. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. All right. So and hope if you hopefully you were paying attention there, but we just added arithmetic series and and partial sum to a vocabulary list. So we're up to 30 words already. Woo! 30. All right. So. That's the formula. Sn equals n over 2, a1 plus an. That's the formula. All right, so now in the next next um, um, part, we're going to go to an example, and we're continuing the number of examples from the arithmetic sequence. So if it goes up to number, it starts at number 7, that's because we're continu continuing on with the notes from sequence.